welcome guys so today we are going to be talking about avatar reply and we are going to be going um, a bit in depth to avatar reply the last video i made um it wasn't that it wasn't going that deep into avatar reply but today we are going to be talking about it properly now um there are two different kind of installations for avatar reply there's a direct installation and the one you can do with group collab which is this now the direct installation is done on an nvidia graphics laptop at least for 4 gig with 4 gig nvidia graphics card nvidia now for our day-to-day -day normal laptops that, that don't have that i i graphics card, card memory um we use google collab google collab serves as what is missing on a laptop to be able to install there so um over time we already have um um better ways to run our collab faster and less stressful so that's uh, that's how i'll call it now um for instance we know we have to run this page yeah on on the collab so the very f and for people that are just coming people that are, sorry uh, for people that are just like coming across this video for the first time and they are trying to install the avatar file on your laptop so the very first step is to go to this place to come to this link this link will be dropped under the description of this video come to this link to start the whole process so you know that the, f the the very first thing you have to do is to click here and also the the previous video i did will also be showing here you can also refer to that video to get more understanding or to see what we have covered before on avatar fi so we we'll click here it takes us to this dashboard um now we'll copy this it will replace this this token here okay so instead of which we already did before in the last video instead of running this this instead of playing this one by one till we get to the end which is this which takes a lot of time instead of playing it one by one what we can do is just to go to run time and run all we click on run anyway um, so instead of clicking them one by one you can just come here and click it run all that's we need after we have um, changed the ngrog tunnel after i change um so just this the way i did it now you change the token on your ngrog tunnel yeah yeah you change it first before you run all so that everything will run automatically and correctly now you can see this place is marked it's connecting is also still connecting so you see it for and the time now it, it will mark properly and if you if you want to check if everything is marked so what you just have to do is to come down yeah so once everything has played you get to know from this last one yeah so let's wait for it to play let's wait for everything to run at the same time let's go straight to the point now as we have seen this place has played like the last place on the page has played so we we'll come here you can you can look for um anaconda anaconda or mini conda so the best um form to run this is the mini conda so i'm going to be using so i'm going to be using anaconda prompt since anaconda prompt is what i use to make um install this on my laptop so it's going to be cd so whatever you use to install that's what you are going to open if you use miniconda you uh, you open miniconda cd avatar fi python so let's click on this then we'll paste the windows code this is where you get your windows code from here yeah. okay let's do this completely you come here you paste your windows code Yes. You wh when you copy the Windows code from there, you come and you paste it here, and click on Enter, and wait for it to load up. So, like I said, Anaconda prompt is good. Miniconda also is good, um, but when you are op when you get to this stage, you open what you use to install. Yeah. So you open if you use Miniconda while you are installing, you open Miniconda. If you use um the normal anaconda prompt while installing you also use it 
So let's wait for the camera to pop up. Done. Right now. So wait for the camera to pop up properly. All right. So basically, I'm clearing the air on how to use this, how to use um, Avatar Fi properly. So this is when your camera comes out like this for you to be able to because I've, I've received a lot of complaints for you to be able to control this camera that your face is showing in first of all the, the um the instruction is clear fit face in rectangular so your face has to be inside this this rectangle sorry fit face in rectangle so your face has to be inside this this this, this um, rectangle so you click on this camera to be able to control it then you press x this thing here this um the x you have to press here so as you can see it's working very fine it's working very fine now um if i leave this box right now the rectangle i leave it for some reasons um and it is scattered as you can see it's scattered there if i leave it for some reasons i come back here i click on this same camera and i press x so that it arranges as you can see you you would observe that um there is there was an there was like a rearrange here so as you can see i'm talking and it's following and it's going with me like the mouth movement and every other thing let me bring that camera up so you can see so my head my head movement is following me on my head movement and everything um let me put out this disclaimer right here this video is strictly for educational purpose it's strictly for educational purpose yeah for people that are interested in learning these things yeah so now when we are talking about how to use number one i just made um let's rearrange again i just made um a video on this on how to run everything run time run all but first you have to go and um, close your end um connect your end rock tunnel number one then if you want to end this section if you want to close your collab you don't just come here and close it if you come here and close it even though you off your you put up your laptop and you come back again you see see the same thing if it was giving you an error now this solution I'm about to tell you is if the collab was gi is giving you an error, maybe instead of marking here it's showing red, or it's giving any error anywhere. Maybe you want to refresh it. You don't just close it and you don't close it here and refresh it again to give you the same error. I know most of you must have have must have um, experienced what I'm saying now. So what you have to do is to close it properly. Now I've I sh I just showed you how to run it properly. Yeah. Now I'm going to be showing you how to close it properly. The Google collab. The Google Collab is very important in this because it is like it's what's giving you um, what your laptop does not have to run the avatar if I that's the best way I can see it in layman's in language like something you can understand so if you want to terminate this section you go to you come you come to this arrow here you click on it you click on manage section exactly then you click you cancel it terminate you terminate the section but for now we need the section so immediately you are done terminating it this this um immediately are done with this clicking this this um um windows this this place will be empty so you close and you refresh either you close the about the google collab page because you want to close the old system or you want to refresh it maybe it was giving you an error and, and you want to refresh it so that you can start all over this is how you close the google collab page properly so now we have done we are done with that process now let's cover other processes um for instance so our camera is up now yeah so our camera is up now so um like i said when maybe you are out of it of the old um stuff of this rectangle for a while so you want to re rearrange it so that it looks good you click on this and you press x very good so it is the arrange now so the next part you have to go to is your obs obs now this is the software your two camera popping up is the software what runs this on your um social media apps like um telegram the social media apps like 
Skype, Zoom, and the, and whatsoever you can think about. It is the OBS, the OBS Virtual Studio. So, what the OBS Studio? So, what you do is, for instance, now mine is already set to to here. So you might open yours and yours is set to here or not. So what you have to do is to click on that. I'm doing this this right now as if this was not here. In fact, let me delete this. So, for instance, you come to your um, to your OBS and it's and you are not seeing anything here. What you do is you click here, you click on Windows Capture, you click OK, then you come here, you click on Avatar File, then click on OK. So when you have gotten um, this part of it, when you when have gotten to this part, you click, you right click. Then you click to, you click on um, transform. Then you click fit to screen. Exac exactly. So we are good to go right now. Um, so from here, when you are done with this process, you click on start virtual camera. Without start virtual camera, your other apps will not be able to read it, like Telegram and so on and so forth. Skype, they won't be able to read it. Let me see if my Skype is installed. Let's check something with Skype. Okay. Okay, very good. So the Skype is installed. Now, if you want to set your Skype, if you want to set a Skype account to be able to get this face and you're able to use it to, to call with it, you go to um, settings, um, you go to audio and video. Okay, this audio and video. As you can see this is OBS camera here if you come here and it's showing your own face or it's showing this camera your HP camera or your laptop camera you come here you change it to OBS virtual camera this is how you you change for telegram you change for many other apps So that's how you set your, um, that's how you set up Zoom, you set up Skype, you set up Telegram. This same process I just did on Skype right now. This is how you set up a lot of these um, apps to make your prank calls with um, Avatarify. So let's see this face. Um, as you can see, So there is a proper way to use um there's a proper way to use the avatarify and this is an updated version for um how to run and um, how to run the avatarify faster, how to operate it better. Um for the installation guide, the video we did previously on the installation will be showing at the top of the link will be showing at the top of this video. You can also contact my number on the description of this video for the installation guide on how to install avatarify from the beginning to the end um step by step by step guide that you can use to install your avatarify thank you very much for watching this video please do like share subscribe and comment thank you very much